Alrighty, welcome back everybody. This is Michael and this is just a real quick tutorial on how to make things uh, blow up uh, using a power switch uh, without using zombies. Now, uh, you, you're probably familiar if you've been doing a lot of prefabbing on how to kind of remotely uh, ignite a an explosion by using zombies um, where you can... Uh, walk into a sleeper zone and it activates a zombie where they will fall on a mine and create an explosion uh, usually via a chain reaction with a bunch of gas barrels or, or what have you um, that will cause a big boom i believe there's a vanilla um, tfp uh, farm uh, poi where it uses that where there's a zombie underground uh, that as soon as you uh, trip off the uh, the sleeper zone it will fall onto a mine and, and create a big explosion. Uh, here's a way of uh, creating explosion just by uh, clicking on a power switch, uh, utilizing no zombies whatsoever. And this is basically using the uh, the trap uh, blocks. Um, they are called uh, the uh, loose, uh, either corrugated metal cube. They also have the concrete uh, or loose concrete uh, cubes. And they also have these in half blocks. Um, and it's it's very simple. It's basically a matter of uh, placing that those particular trap blocks down on the ground and then uh, laying a uh, any kind of block that does not have any kind of uh, vertical uh, structural support. And I tend to use the, the noise traps and those are the, the decor uh, blocks. Um, any one of those you use, you can use the small stones, pretty much anything that does not have a vertical structural support. You put that down and then you put something that will blow up. And this is something that I discovered when I was doing my whole fuse uh, exploding uh, area type uh, trick. Uh, if you have a, a any kind of block that doesn't have structural support and you disturb it at any time, uh, it will cause anything that has some sort of explosive uh, activity assigned to it, be the barrels or vehicles or what have you. Uh, mines don't do that, but it's it's primarily the barrels and the vehicles. And then what you can do is you can uh, attach, you know, basically connect that block to a switch. So I'm just going to go ahead and assign this switch uh, to activate trigger number one. And I will set this block to be triggered by number one. And now I will go ahead and uh, pop this into the, uh, the play test and I'll show you how this all works. Alrighty, so here we are in our playtest, and let me just go ahead and uh, run on over here and uh, run this quick test. So remember, I, I basically connected this switch to this block. We have a noise trap or any block that doesn't have any kind of vertical structure support and some sort of incendiary type uh, block over the top of it, be the barrels or vehicles. And if we just go ahead and hit this button, it automatically causes the barrels to blow up. Now there's different variations you can do with this. And let me just go ahead and uh, go back into the editor and kind of show you what you can do with this. All right, so we're back here in the editor again. So I'm just gonna do a slight variation of this. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and knock out some blocks here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place some regular noise traps in here along the edge. And again, these are unstable. They don't have glue where they will actually adhere to the sides. And then in the middle, I will go ahead and place my um, my block that will automatically destruct based off of the switch. So we have that like that. And then just around this, we can go ahead and place our barrels. We can just go ahead and Z this out and just do a full fill here. And then we'll do the same thing. We will create our, put our switch down. And I will go ahead and set this one to trigger number two. Let's go ahead and add another trigger here to number two. And then we will set this block to be triggered by number two. And again, basically what's going to happen is if there's a disturbance anywhere near a block that is that does not have any kind of structure support, it'll cause them to basically self-destruct. And for whatever reason, any kind of uh, object that does have a self-explosion type uh, action applied to it 
um, will cause them to uh, to blow up. So let me go ahead again, pop into the uh, play test, and I will demonstrate how this works. All righty, here we are back in our play test, and let's just go ahead and uh, try this quick test here. Go ahead and drop on down here. Again, we we have here is a bunch of barrels that are sitting on these noise traps. These are uh, objects that do not have uh, structural support, and we have some barrels sitting on them, and the switch is connected to this uh, trap block. Let's go ahead and click that, and kablooey. So this is a way where you can create uh, a uh, some sort of, uh, I guess I knocked out my other switch there, um, I, where you can create a an explosion uh, that is triggered by a power switch uh, that does not involve zombies. So I'd like to thank you all for joining me and hope to see you again soon. Take care.